Tell us about um, Multicultural Round and, and how special that is to, for the Bulldogs to be hosting it here. Oh, you know, it's been about 30 years since we uh, had a multicultural round here, so um, all the boys were a bit buzzing around it. I know uh, all the boys love playing at Belmore, so uh, to have their fans back at a packed house is going to be unreal. Jake was just telling us about um, in the pre-season, sort of went around and spoke about where everyone came from and their cultures. How was that experience for you? Oh, um, it's, oh I love my culture, so it was, um, it was, something, it was something that I really enjoyed. Um, and then because everyone else got to share, it was um, cool to hear what other boys had to say about uh, the way they grew up and the values that they take out of their culture and, and the special things that they do. Um, you know, I, I love talking about my culture, so it was, something, it was something really cool. Can you tell us a bit more about your background and why you're so proud of your culture? Uh, yeah, um, I'm a Kiwi. I'm, my dad's Māori and my mom's English, so um, it was, uh, it's, a, it's a big thing for me. I, I wear it proud and I wear it loud on my leg. I got a tamoko there and um, it's something that I, I, I cherish and something that it was a journey for me and my whole family. Um, my, my mom and dad came with me the first time I got it, and uh, I've been coming on that journey ever since, so it's, it's, it's an awesome thing. Will your family be here on Sunday? Uh, yeah, yeah, my uh, mom, dad, my uh, girlfriend, and my brothers and sisters will be here, so it's going to be it's gonna be awesome, and uh, get them to see Packed House at, Bank, uh, at Belmore will be uh, awesome. What are, what are some of the things you guys have done maybe this week or will do uh, we always have a team connection in the morning um, where, where some boys will uh, stand up and have a chat and um, talk about where they come from and who they are. So um, I think we got it uh, right after this actually, so um, it's going to be cool. I'm not sure who's talking today, but it's going to be cool to hear what they got to say about Belmore and uh, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, we must be stoked to be playing this round here. Yeah, it's um, like I said before, it's been like 30 years or something, so um, it's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, we don't get many games at Belmore lately, so... Uh, I think we got one more, so um, especially on multicultural round, it's going to be it's going to be unreal. Do you get emotional when teammates are talking in front of the group about their culture? Can they get to the point where like there are emotions and even tears in the group? Hundred um, percent. We got a really we got a really good crew, uh, uh, and it's a really safe place a uh, safe place uh, between us and the group. So when uh, when one of the boys does get emotional, we all get around them, and it's and it's something that that um, touches everyone's hearts, I guess. Um, it gets personal and, and I guess all the boys love, love to see it and it gives you that extra passion when you go out and run on the field next to them. Is there, I mean, everyone has their own individual stories and family traditions, but is there something that stood out, like a story from a group that really sort of hit home with everyone? Um, we had a camp not long ago in St. Greg's, uh, Jordan Samrani um, stood up in front, of the, in front of the group. He's one of the young fellas in the crew. Um, so it was like something that, that, that touched everyone, that he had the, um, the courage to stand up in front of everyone being that young and it was something that everyone loved to see and he, he spoke about how he used to uh, watch Grubby, Josh Reynolds, um, just before the grand finals in 2012, 2014. Uh, he was in Belmore drumming, the, uh, banging on the drums and, and driving down the streets of Belmore and it was something unreal and all the boys sort of touched our hearts and it was something really cool. Has um, Grubby been reminding you this week about Everything that he's done on this ground. Uh, <laughs> Grubby always talks about what he does. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, but no, uh, we all we all get around Grubby a bit because he's he's one of the vets and and he's very experienced when it comes to Belmore and the fans. So whatever we can get out of him, uh, we all we all listen when he speaks. So it's something we ha we have a lot of respect for him. Jackson, in terms of this you know, sharing kind of activity stuff, do the coaches jump in as well? Or just Cam tell his story? Uh, yeah, uh, so it, it just depends. Um, Bobcat's sort of our cultural leader, uh, Andrew Ryan. So um, he, uh, he, he'll pick somebody or two people every week, usually one a player, one a staff member, and um, everyone gets around it. And um, I think we've got through nearly all the staff members, but um, I think Sarah was one of the first, and it was, it was quite cool to hear his story and, and all of the other coaching staff, which is because we've got quite a new crew here. It's something that we all need to do and something that we'd love to hear. What are some of the things you would talk about if it was your turn? Oh, I don't, I don't think I've had a turn yet, um, but uh, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely touch on my values of my family. Um, they, they mean everything to me. They're, they're the reason I do what I do and the reason I love what I do. They, they're the people that, that got me on this journey and the people that have got me to where I am today. So I'll definitely touch on them the most. Thank you, guys.